Hi dear dental students and uh, this in this lecture we will uh, explain some notes about the root canal obturation materials and techniques as you know the obturation is the final stage in endo treatment that is characterized by a closure a closure and obliteration of the root canal space by a biocompatible uh, non-irritating material and to seal dentinal tubules against any leakage from the coronal area to the apical area and vice versa there are uh, several conditions must be available in the uh, obturation phase. In the obturation visit, we have to ask the patient about any uh, signs and symptoms of inflammation, if there is any persistent pain or swelling, or inflammation in the apical area of the canal. So. Uh, obturation will be postponed if there is any uh, remaining inflammation in the case or there is discomfort or pain uh, we should have healing in the apical area of the tooth to be obturated uh, there must be no uh, fluid or bleeding in the canal to be obturated this must be checked by insertion after removal of uh, temporary filling we have to insert paper point inside the canal and must be inspected for the presence of blood or any fluid or pus inside the canal uh, bad adder shouldn't be available because bad adder indicate the presence of bacterial colon colony inside the canal and if we culture this paper point it should be negative the objectives as we said of obturation is to uh, close all the uh, spaces and events inside the canal and to seal dentinal tubules with an uh, biocompatible non-irritant material. Most uh, failure uh, cases are caused by bad obturation and inadequate obturation is the main cause for the uh, failure of endo treatment. Root canal filling material must be bacteriostatic, must be uh, dimensionally stable, must be non-irritant, shouldn't uh, cause staining to the tooth, um, impervious to moisture, can be manipulated and introduced in the into the canal, should seal to dentine wall. Uh, should be radioopic to be appear, to be to appear in the radiograph. Uh, can be removed in uh, retreatment. All these uh, conditions must be available, and all these properties must be available in the uh, root canal obturation material. We have three obturation material available. The commonly used gutta perca and previously used silver cones and a new material which is called the resilient material. The common used uh, used material is gutta perca. Gutta perca is a, a natural latex material derived from uh, some uh, 
the types of trees called Falakium gutta pear, and from which uh, the main gutta pear is derived. It is chemically found in two phases, which is the alpha and beta phase. The composition of gutta perca. Gutta perca have uh, accompanied by some additives. These additives are used to give some properties to uh, the natural gutta perca, such as uh, zinc oxide used uh, to give the consistency, barium sulfide for uh, radio opacity and the gutta perca material also uh, wax is added to give the uh, sensitivity to heat the advantages of uh, gutta perca is that it is uh, chemically a bio inert and uh, chemically stable material non irritating uh, not uh, it is not uh, dissolved by uh, the natural uh, biological conditions uh, can be manipulated easily and inserted into the canal uh, dimensionally stable if it is uh, not uh, modified chemically or physically radio opaque to appear in the radiograph and doesn't call uh, cause discoloration to the tooth in the same time get a perk have uh, the disadvantage of not uh, sealing and uh, the lack of adherence to dentine so it can pull away and rebound from elastic material can be rebound from dentine wall and uh, if it is uh, modified by heat it may undergo cooling shrinkage or if it is uh, mixed with solvents after evaporation of the solvent it can shrink in the size. The methods of obturation and the obturation techniques are mainly three techniques to obturate the canal uh, with gutta perca. Uh, we have the lateral condensation and vertical compaction of gutta perca and the uh, thermal or physical manipulation of gutta perca and insertion into the canal the lateral condensation consists of the use of uh, master cone the master cone that it is the largest cone that reach the apex depend on the size of master apical file and condensed by uh, spreader uh, the spreader can be uh, such uh, in such type which is which is called the uh, finger spreader and we have the hand spreader that have a handle and can be used to spread uh, get a pair of cones inside the canal uh, this technique requires the use of accessory small size cones adjacent to uh, get a pair of master cone in order to uh, be condensed and to fill the canal uh, until the uh, spreader cannot be entered inside the canal the uh, gutta perca can be cut in the canal orifice using a hot plugger this uh, technique of obturation is used with step back instrumentation technique in which flaring of the canal uh, is done so the master cone will not fit to all the dentine wall it will fit in the apex and uh, require the use of accessories to fill all the canal space we have a technique which is called chloroperca by the use uh, manipulation of uh, get a perca cone in a a special solvents such as chloroform, halothane, or eucalyptol oil. In uh, some cases, such as large 
canals in which uh, the normal sizes of gutta percha cannot fit several cones can be used uh, and immersed in the uh, solvent and rolled together to form a large cone to fit inside a large canals this technique is called chloroperca the vertical compaction of gutta percha uh, require the segmentation of gutta percha into several segments and the first segment is applied to the apical area and a uh, hot plugger is inserted to soften gutta percha inside the canal and several segments are used uh, gradually to fill all the uh, the spaces and irregularities this technique is called 3D obturation because the soft gutta percha inside the canal will take all the shape of the canal. This is an example of device that use hot pluggers to uh, vertically compact gutta percha inside the canal. We have what, what is called the single cone or monocone technique in which it is used with the protaper instrumentation system. The protaper instrumentation system have a finisher files and uh, gutta percha is designed according to the shape of the file. So it will adapt to the apical and lateral walls of the canal uh, and doesn't require the use of accessory cones. It is a beneficial met uh, method because is fast and simple and time saving and have good adaptation to canal walls. This type of pulling is called a single cone uh, obturation technique. Sometimes we have to manipulate uh, get a perca thermally by softening inside uh, this type of gun which is called the Optura 2 gun it has a heating chamber and the uh, gutta perca is softened inside the uh, gun and inserted via a needle into the uh, canal this type of obturation has the disadvantage of extrusion from the apex in case of open apex it can uh, be uh, excluded from the apical area and the lack of control of the apical stopper. Some technique used a soft gutta perca on a carrier. The carrier can be metal or plastic. An example of this technique is the thermophile technique. It uses alpha phase of gutta perca, which is highly sensitive to heat, heated in uh, within these chambers, and inserted into the canals. <coughs> and then the carrier is cut using a handpiece. This technique is found to be has good adaptation and control of micro leakage. As you see, soft gutta perca will. Uh, fill also lateral canals, accessory canals, and spaces, isthmus area between two canals. These area are filled with soft gutta perca. The simply fill technique is a, a carrier based system. The carrier is metal shaft with five millimeter segment of gutta perca. Uh, this used to control the apical area and uh, seal and plug the apical area uh, in assistance to obturator system. Then soft gutta perca is uh, inserted using the uh, gun thermoplasticized system. Previously silver cones were used as a root canal falling material. Nowadays it is not used because of the uh, corrosion of metal and the clinical failure uh, of uh, these type of obturation material.
that may cause uh, periapical irritation and uh, corrosion of the metal. Get a perke, uh, sorry, uh, endotreated teeth are considered uh, a weakened uh, type of teeth because of the uh, cutting of dentin and the loss of tooth structure because of caries trauma or the instrumentation itself which is uh, which will cut a large amount of dentin the dehydration and the brittleness in dentin because of loss of vitality removal of the dentin during instrumentation and the pressure applied during obturation all these are the weakening uh, factors that may cause vertical root fracture to the tooth. So, an idea and a suggestion to a, a bonded material is uh, suggested to strengthen such weakened endotreative teeth. The uh, bonded uh, in, uh, root canal filling material uh, consist of polyester material and the sealer is a resin based sealer that will cause uh, bonding and uh, adherence to dentine wall. The uh, problems face uh, that will face this technique is the uh, how to introduce the sealing material into the canal and uh, how we can dry and uh, control the moisture in dentin wall and how we can clean the dentin wall from the smear layer and dentin debris and the uh, thinking we have to keep in mind in mind the ability of the case to be retreated all these were the problems uh, facing this type of obturation the resin based core material and the resin based based sealer are thought to form a, no, a monoblock. The monoblock theory means that uh, get, uh, resin uh, cones are uh, sealed to the bonding agent and the sealer that contain a bonding agent and all of that will be bonded to dentine wall uh, that will cause a monoblock. This uh, sealing and monoblock uh, are thought to strengthen endotreated tooth or the tooth obturated by this technique that will strengthen the tooth the tooth against fracture. Resilon cones are a synthetic polyester material. Uh, a new uh, replacement for gutta perca. They are similar to gutta perca cones, but are uh, similar in sizes and classes, but are different in the material. This, these are uh, bonded to dentin using a bonded sealer, resin-based sealer, and the. A canal wall should be uh, cleaned by the use of EDTA cream in order to, so to, to solve, dissolve the uh, dentine debris and uh, must be flushed from the canal. A good dryness should precede this type of uh, obturation in order to achieve bonding to dentine wall 
the type of seal are used with uh, this type of uh, obturation is a resin based uh, sealer uh, an example of it is the epiphany sealer it consists of uh, base and catalyst that are mixed and uh, the these type of sealer may be uh, self cure or sometimes a dual cure uh, that mean the parts inside the canal chemically cured and the coronal area can be cured by light to control the obturation technique all of that will strengthen the tooth and uh, will provide a bonded obturation material these were the main uh, types of obturation material and the main uh, techniques used in obturation thank you for listening uh, help you all success in your dental study